Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to squeeze out the theta function from the gamma function. So let's take a look. Gamma of x is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity t to the x minus 1 times e to the negative t dt. And this is what we'll do first. We'll just take a substitution. And we'll just do that t equal to n times u. Yeah, it's always u, huh? <laughs> but anyway, where n is just the past default numbers and things like that, right? So just keep that in mind. And we will just differentiate both sides so that we can get the dt, right? So we get dt equal to n is just a constant, so it stays. And we just multiply by du like this. And now we will take this integral from the t world to the u world. So here we will have the integral. Originally, it was going from 0 to infinity. And now when t is equal to 0, you can divide both sides by n because n is not 0. And you will get u will be 0 as well. So u goes from 0. And then when you put in infinity to here, divide both sides by n. Once again, you can see that u is going to be infinity like that. And then now, this is t. Now it's n u. So we put down n u and then raise this to the x minus 1 power. And here we have e to the negative t is now negative n u. And then dt is n du. So that's what we have. Okay? And then from this point, we can just do some mm, small algebra, maybe. Let's see. And we'll do everything that you world from now on as well. Okay, this is the integral from 0 to infinity. And we will have n to the x minus 1 times u to the x minus 1. And this is times e to the negative n u. And then this is times n, and then this is the u. We are in the u world now, OK? And take a look. Here we have n to the x minus 1. And we are multiplying with n to the first power. So this and that is just n to the x power. But we are in the u world. So n and x, of course, they're just constants. So we can actually bring them to the front. So I will do that. We will have n to the x power. And then we have the integral from 0 to infinity. And I will just keep this right here. u to the x minus 1 times this right here is e to the negative and u du, like that. OK? So that's what we have at the moment. And take a look. On the left hand side, we have the gamma of x. And this is what we can do. This is gamma of x is equal to n to the x times that. Let's divide both sides by n to the x. And let me write this down for you guys. On the left-hand side now, we have gamma of x. And let me just write this down as times 1 over n to the x. OK? And then this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity, u to the x minus 1, e to the negative n u, du. And why did I do that? Well. When you have 1 over n to a power, if you take the sum of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, right? n start from 1 to infinity, you get a theta function. So right here, we will take the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity on both sides. So I'll do that right here as well. Okay, And let's just put on the correct order of parentheses like this and like that for now. OK, so far, so good. And now, let's see, what do we have? This is just like another integral sign, huh? Anyway, instead of the summation, n is the variable. So x is like a constant. You can bring that to the front. So I will do that. So on the left-hand side, we have gamma of x times the sum, which is sigma, OK? <laughs> and that's from 1 to infinity. And we have 1 over x to the nth power. And on the right-hand side, this is what we'll do. This is equal to. Well, if you look at this part, this is where the n is on the right-hand side, e to the negative n u, right? And I would actually like to pair the sum with e to the n u together. And you will see why in a second. Uh, so let's write down the integral from 0 to infinity. And we have u to the x minus 1. And once again, I will group this and that together. And we can change the 
infinite sum and infinite uh, the improper integral, okay, this in this case, and then, yeah, because it converges absolutely, but you know, anyways, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's just do it. The sum, when n goes from 1 to infinity, and by the way, if you guys can show me a situation that you cannot switch the sum and then the uh, integration, uh, that's, that would be cool, okay, but most of the time, this is doable, right, so, yeah, because the things right here is, it converges absolutely. But anyway, um, this is what we have, and as I said, I'll pair this up with e to the negative and u. But I'm going to write this as the following. This right here, okay, let me factor out the, let me put the n on the outside just like now, okay, this is the same thing, e to the negative u, and then raised to the nth power. Can I do that? Of course, n times u here, and I can just put it in here, right? And then, of course, we still have the negative like that. So, let me put this down. This is e to the negative u, and then raised to the nth power. And then, of course, we have the du right here. Okay, this guy is exactly the theta function. And the input right here is x instead of s, okay? And I'm going to take care of that in a second. Well, what is this? Why did I choose to do that? Now, you see, we have one base raised to the nth power. This right here is, in fact, an infinite geometry series. And this is the r, right? So I'll just write down r is equal to, because of the negative exponent, of course, we can write this down as 1 over e to the u. And is this a good r for you or not? Yes, because this is, in fact, less than 1 when you have u greater than 0. And we don't really care about the exact zero value for u because you can you know, ignore that, uh, just one point for the integration anyway. So this is actually going to be really nice. And remember, when we have infinite geometry series, if it does converge, we can use the formula first term over 1 minus r, right? So this right here is what we are going to use for that. And now let's see, on the left-hand side, we have the gamma of x. And this right here, as I told you, it's the theta of x, okay? And then this is going to be the integral from 0 to infinity, u to the x minus 1. And now, this right here, we can just say, okay, the first term. What's the first term? Plugging 1 into n, you just have e to the negative u. So we have e to the negative u. And then this is over 1 minus r, which is 1 minus the r, which is just this, pretty much e to the negative u, okay? And of course, we have the du right here. All right, now, we can clean this up a little bit because we have negative exponent, which is the same as that. Multiply the top and bottom by e to the u so that we can actually clean up some of the negative exponents, right? Okay, so this is going to give us integral from 0 to infinity. And then on the numerator, we have u to the x minus 1 times this and that. But this times that is just 1, right, because e to the 0 is power. So let me just put that down on the numerator. u to the x minus 1 over, multiply this and that, it's just e to the u, and then minus, this times that is just 1. So that's pretty much it, and we are still in the u world. And now, as you can see, when we multiply gamma by theta, we get this crazy looting integral, isn't it? Really, really cool. However, in the end, though, I want to replace all the x by s, because whenever we're talking about the theta function, we should have s as the input rather than x, okay? So finally, I will just write this down. Gamma of s times theta of s. This right here is equal to this crazy duty integral, which is the integral from 0 to infinity, u to the s minus 1 over e to the u's power minus 1, and then we have the du, okay? So right here, you see these are the s, and if you are talking about the integral right here, u is just a dummy variable. You can change all the u's to t, to x, or whatever you want. But anyway, this is a really nice connection when you multiply gamma by theta. You get this crazy looking integral. Really, really cool. And in fact, you can come up with a question based on this fact. For example, what if somebody wants to ask you what's the integral from 0 
to infinity and maybe we have x over e to the x minus 1 dx okay how would you evaluate this integral well knowing this fact look at this is x to the first power which is the same as saying 2 minus 1 and of course you see this matches with that which it says that we can just plug in 2 into ODS. This will be gamma of 2 times theta of 2, right? And when you have gamma of 2, this is really nice because you can just do 2 minus 1 and then factorial that. In another word, you get 1 factorial. And theta of 2, this right here is just the sum of all the reciprocals of n squares, and you get pi squared over 6. And I make another video on this. If you guys want to check that out, the link to this is in the description, okay? So in the end, this integral is just 1 times that, right? 1 factorial is 1. So finally, we see that we get pi squared over 6. How do we do this? It's because we have this fact right here already. So this right here, it's really, really nice. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. And as always, that's it.